welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm making shrimp ceviche. Uh, this is a twist on the classic ceviche. This is more of a tropical ceviche. The key ingredient in this ceviche, aside from the shrimp, is mango. We're adding mango to the ceviche. It adds a little bit of sweetness. It helps break down some of the really citrus flavors that come from the lime and the lemons that we add to it and it, I don't know, I feel like it really enhances the ceviche uh, and it just tastes great. So our secret ingredient is mango. You can use whatever mango you find in the store. This was the only type of mango they had, so I got it. I don't even know what type uh, of mango this is, but it's the only one that was available. It's the middle of March in Chicago, so I'm good with just finding any type of mango. So of course we need shrimp. I have one pound of raw shrimp. You can use whatever type of shrimp you like. Uh, you can use frozen shrimp, uh, you can use pre-cooked shrimp, or you can use raw shrimp. That's completely up to you. Uh, I'm also using one red onion. I'm probably not going to use the whole thing. I have an avocado. I'm going to add some avocado to this. And then I have, of course, limes. I have about five limes here. I have a lemon. I have an orange. We're going to use a little bit of orange juice. This will also, even though it's very citrusy, it's going to add also a little bit of sweetness. And we're adding a little bit of jalapeno to just kick it up a bit. But these are all the ingredients that you need for the ceviche. I think they're really easy to find. Uh, mangoes, you can usually find mangoes in the grocery store. So that's it. Let's start putting this together. Uh, of course, the first thing you have to do is if you're using fresh shrimp, you have to make sure that you peel them. I take everything off. I don't even leave the tails on. And then I wash them and I cut them into like little cubes. Uh, regardless of the type of shrimp you use, you want to make sure that they're clean, so at least wash them and then just make sure that you cut them into little cubes that you don't just leave the entire piece of shrimp in there. So that's what I'm going to do first. I'll show you how I peel and cut one of the shrimp and then I'll just do all of them at once and put them in our little bowl. Okay, so peeling a shrimp, this is really easy. I get the deveined shrimp, uh, that's the only thing that I don't like to do and I've actually never done it, so I'm not gonna risk leaving my shrimp dirty. Uh, but peeling the shrimp is really easy. You should be able to like squish the tail and yeah, and then the whole like shell comes off. Um, and then if there's a little bit of shell left on the shrimp, you just find like a good place to pull from, and it usually comes off all together. Make sure you get all the little legs off and is a little peel shrimp. Uh, I'm gonna wash this one, but I want to show you the small sizes I'm cutting it into. So I'm just gonna cut it into little cubes or little chunks, really tiny pieces. I'm just gonna do that with the entire pound of shrimp that I have. I'm gonna wash them and then I'll show you when I'm ready to start putting together all the other ingredients. Okay, well, I'm back. I uh, peeled, washed, and cut my counter shrimp. I also apologize if you hear some construction noise. I guess my upstairs neighbor is drilling and I can't do anything about that. Uh, I also went ahead and I cut all the other ingredients. So I cut half an avocado, half a jalapeno, a quarter of a red onion, and one Roma tomato. You're probably wondering where the mango is, uh, since I made such a big deal of the mango at the beginning of the video. Uh, the mango is not ripe enough. Here it is. Uh, yeah, this isn't ripe, so we can't use it. I, I also, I tried a small piece and it's just not ready. So I guess we're just making regular ceviche with avocado, which is fun. Whatever. This is pretty easy to put together. I mean, all you have to do is toss all of the ingredients in a bowl. So the first thing I'm gonna do is add all of the juices and in this bowl I have three quarter cups lime juice, half a cup of orange juice, and a quarter cup of lemon juice. So we're just gonna add this to the shrimp. You know, the shrimp is gonna absorb some of that juice. So right now 
you know, it seems like there's way too much juice in there, but the shrimp is going to absorb some of that. And the shrimp, the shrimp is cooking in the juice, so you want to make sure you have enough juice. Uh, the next thing I'm actually going to do is season it. I want to make sure that I season it before I add all the other ingredients and start mixing. I'm using a half a teaspoon of pepper and then I'm actually doing one teaspoon of salt. So now I'm just adding everything else in the bowl. I'm adding the tomato, the red onion, and then the jalapeno. Okay, well now that everything is mixed in, I'm gonna go with the final ingredient that's the avocado and I'm gonna be a little bit careful when I'm mixing this I don't want to smush the avocado I want it to stay like chunky well this is all there is to it I mixed everything in a bowl and now I have to put this into the fridge and I have to leave it in there for at least four hours I started with raw shrimp the shrimp are gonna um, the shrimp is gonna cook in this sort of marinade so we have to leave it in there for at least four hours I'm just gonna try the sauce to make sure it's like well seasoned yep Ooh, so much salmon uh, also I'm making this for myself so I don't care if I taste with the spoon and I just mix it in I'm gonna cover this, put it in the fridge again for four hours, and then when I pull it out and I'm ready to eat it, I'll top it with a little bit of cilantro and maybe I'll add a little bit more avocado. We'll see how it looks when it's out of the fridge. Okay, it's been a little bit over four hours. The uh, shrimp in the ceviche is ready to, to eat. Uh, you can tell like the shrimp is cooked. It's completely white. Uh, it has that cooked color. I went ahead and I chopped some cilantro. I mentioned at the beginning that I would add cilantro in the end. There's no reason to add the cilantro at the beginning when you're just gonna uh, marinate it in the fridge for a couple of hours. You can add the cilantro more towards the end when you're getting ready close, uh, when you're getting closer or ready to eat it. So I made some white rice. I'm gonna have this with white rice. I wish I had those bonus, but I don't. Uh, but this would go great with tostones, it would also go great with uh, mopongo or any other type of plantain. I'll add in a picture in the end so you can see what this looks like up close, but let me know if you make ceviche, if you find a good mango and you're able to use it, please try it and let me know how it turns out. I'm really disappointed that my mango wasn't ripe enough. Uh, if you're subscribed to my channel, thank you. If you're not but you're enjoying the videos, please like and share. And I'll see you next time. Bye.